and just get my ducks in a row with some of that smaller life admin stuff that feels so good but you never really have time to do for the rest of the year. So first things first, any minute, I'm gonna head out the door and get my nails updated. They are honestly such a state. Like they've all been like cracking and ugh. Anyway, rubbish. So I wanna get these replaced. I'm gonna try somewhere new. I want a nice fresh color to kick me off for the new year. And then I'm gonna come back and we are gonna have such a satisfying day. So on today's agenda, we are going to do a bit of a mini wardrobe clear out. And I've got some new pieces that I am so excited to share with you because they are divine. And then we are gonna do the pantry at long last. And then if you stick around all the way to the end of this video, we are going to take a look at my 2024 vision board and I'm going to show you exactly how I make my vision board, the process that goes into it, the kind of vibe that I like to create and I'll show you my finished product which is quite a scary thing really because I think vision boards are very personal and we'll talk all about it when we get there but I'm going to share it with all of you because <laughs> you're all so lovely and hopefully this is a safe space so I'll share with you my vision board at the end of this video. Anyway, let's finish tea, get out the door, and then we can come back and get started and spend the day at home together, really resetting and refreshing ourselves and our space for a new year. Let's do it. so much like fresher and oh I'm loving it anyway I love these ones as I mentioned I haven't been able to find somewhere nice that I really like near me and this one's really close and I think this could be the place they've done such a nice job got my biab back I use color bubble bath if anybody wants the same nail color I use it's the yeah the biab bubble bath and oh I love it anyway right we are in my room because something I really want to get done today is a bit of a wardrobe clear out if you saw some of my vlogmas videos you might have heard me mention that in 2024 one of the things I really want to do is start focusing on wearing more high quality pieces in my wardrobe and really start curating a really strong quality capsule wardrobe but before we dive into the clear out I also wanted to show you a few new pieces that I've got to add to my wardrobe and Honestly, I think these are the perfect pieces that kind of really epitomize what I want my 2024 wardrobe to look like. And I'm going to use these pieces to build the rest of my capsule wardrobe for the year, which is why I'm also so excited to say that this part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Lily Silk. Lily Silk sent me a few of their pieces and honestly, I am obsessed. And I know we use that word a lot, but I cannot express how gorgeous these items of clothing are. So this is one of them. I'm gonna show you each of the new pieces that I've got. This is their round neck by color like blocky jumper. If you saw one of my even earlier vlogmases, you might remember me saying that I am so fussy when it comes to fabrics and how soft they are. And often I really struggle with finding like truly warm pieces of clothing that will keep me all nice and cozy in the winter that are also still breathable because often I find wool can be quite scratchy and I find polyester is just not very breathable so I end up sweating a lot. And I really just feel like Lily Silk have come along and solved all of my problems. So this particular jumper is made from 100% ultra fine merino wool and it is gorgeous. Hopefully you can see here like the quality of this material is absolutely stunning. I also love the design feature of having this rolled over cuff and the sleeves are extra long which just I just think it feels so luxe having lovely long sleeves. It's not itchy in the slightest. It's so super soft. It's keeping me so cozy warm. We have truly had horrendous weather so far in January in the UK and I just think you're going to be seeing this time and time again. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to take it off. I know the fabric is like the main thing for Lily Silk like the quality of their fabrics is 
that's second to none. But I also think the fit is amazing. It's got such a lovely, like loose boxy fit. You can just throw it on over anything. And I think it makes any outfit immediately elevated. I'm literally wearing it today around the house to do all these jobs in like wide leg comfy trousers. And I chuck this jumper on and it just immediately feels a little bit more special. But let me show you the next piece they sent and you see how incredibly versatile this jumper is depending on what you want to wear it with. Let me grab it. Oh, these tailored trousers are something else. I'll show you them on in just a minute, but first of all, another look at the fabric. These are wide leg wool flannel suit trousers, and they're covered in like a really fine fluff, which makes them super soft and also gives them this really like rustic feel, which I love. They're not like too smart or too restrictive or formal. I think they're literally the perfect trouser that you can literally wear into the office and you'll feel super smart and elevated and you can chuck on a pair of heels or you can wear them with trainers and wear them out for a coffee date and you feel super like city chic. I have to be honest, I've also worn these already working from home because I've mentioned before that some days when I'm working from home and I just need that little extra boost, I want to be able to wear something that makes me feel put together and has me like charging off and seizing the day. And these are perfect because they are so comfortable. You would not think you're wearing like suited trousers, but they also look super smart. Let me put them on and I will show you how they fit because as I said, I know that with Lily Silk, like there is no question you're getting good quality fabric, but I have been so impressed by the fit. So let me put them on and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so here they are on. I've taken the jumper off just for now so you can see the trousers in all their glory. And then I'll put the jumper back on and you can see how well the two pieces go together. But look at how gorgeous they are. The fit is insane. Literally just take your normal size. I always struggle to know what size I am with different clothing brands because it just feels like it's never quite right. But I just bought my bog standard normal size and they just fit like a glove. They fit so nicely around my waist. I also think they're super flattering on the bum. They're straight legged, but there's not too much excess fabric on the sides. All the excess fabric feels like it's built down at the bottom. You can also see how much more casual they are if you're like not wearing heels or if you're gonna put on a pair of heels. They just like fall so nicely. To me, these are like the perfect thing to incorporate into your capsule wardrobe or to build your capsule wardrobe around because they're so versatile and you can wear them with almost anything. Any black top that you've got, will look so gorgeous with these. Don't you also just think that the pleating detail here is so lovely? I just think they're so flattering, like I never want to take them off. But at some point, these clothes <laughs> do have to have a wash. They honestly make me feel like the actual boss that I want to be in 2024. Anyway, let me pop the jumper back on. You can see how the two things go together because we love it when we actually end up having an entire outfit. You can see how nicely this fabric moves when I'm throwing it on, it's just, it's just gorgeous. We must also never underestimate a jumper that tucks nicely because we know how hard it is to find one of those. And this jumper just isn't bulky at all. It's just warm, but not bulky, which is lovely because I mean, it tucks in such a nice way. But yeah, and then this is what they look like when the jumper's tucked in and it's just a whole outfit to wear together, don't you think? Okay, and then I have one more piece to show you, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have already seen because it arrived just before Christmas and I literally, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. You know, I was taking a bit of a break from vlogging over Christmas and I had to wear it before I could even show you guys. I just, I love it, I love it. <laughs> right, let me grab it and I will show you. Maybe my favorite piece. Making me choose a favorite is quite hard, but maybe this is the favorite. Right, let me show you. The most perfect red cable knit jumper in all the world. You can see here again, the, I wish you could feel this. I wish you could feel it through the camera. It's also 100% ultra fine merino wool. Super soft, as I said, and I just think it's such a lovely color. I really want to try and incorporate more color into my wardrobe next year. I love a neutral, but I want to jazz things up. So you can see with this neutral, we've gone for a blocky neutral. So it's still a neutral. It's super versatile. I can wear it with literally everything. It's my comfort zone, but it's got a little bit extra going on. This is my first red item of clothing, maybe ever. I think I have one red dress that I wore for Christmas last year, but this is so gorgeous. And very importantly, not just for Christmas, in my opinion. I think this is such a lovely color to take into the entire year. Let me pop it on to show you, but as we know, red represents so many positive emotions. Red represents celebration and joy and good luck. And those are all the vibes that I wanna take into the new year. To be honest, those are actually all three words that definitely need to go on my vision board when we do that a little bit later, because celebration, I'm turning 30 this year. So we want the year full of celebration, full of joy and full of luck because 
We want to be hitting our goals this year. Okay, yeah, this is my fave. You can probably just tell by when I put it on. I just squeal like a child. Okay, let me show you some of my favorite features. One, the super wide sleeve, and it's super long again. And then the fit, again, it's super boxy. If you saw my Instagrams, if you didn't, go have a look. I wore it on Christmas Eve, and I just wore it with a pair of jeans on Christmas Eve, and I just wore it relaxed. I didn't tuck it in, and it was just so comfy and effortless and so many people asked me where it was from and i would also wear this tucked in with these trousers i think it's just such a vibe don't you think it's so fun i literally refuse to compromise on comfort so whenever i manage to find items of clothing that are super comfortable and also feel like quite fashionable and a little bit different and a little bit fun and elevated i just lose my marbles as you can tell and then i have one final thing to show you from lily silk which it's not a wardrobe update but it is definitely like a home update and something that i've been meaning to switch to for quite a long time okay here we go <sighs> guys silk pillowcases this is your sign to get yourself some silk pillowcases as you can imagine from the name nobody does silk pillowcases better than lily silk these are absolutely stunning they honestly feel like the height of luxury to me there are so many benefits to using silk pillowcases predominantly for your skin and your hair which are two things that i'm really working on in 2024 so for your skin silk is naturally hypoallergenic which means that it helps keep away bacteria that you don't want contributing to breakouts from when you sweat during the night they also help keep away dust mites in there anti-allergy which started to calm down a little bit now but honestly the sneezing that we had to suffer through when we first moved in from like moving all the books and there being the dust and silk pillowcases are just one of those extra things that can help Cameron just sleep a little bit easier because they help keep the dust away which he is so allergic to poor thing and then for your hair silk is obviously so soft that it helps keep your hair nice and soft and it helps prevent tangles which obviously then helps prevent friction which then causes breakages so if you're trying to grow lovely long luscious hair then i really recommend switching to a silk pillowcases because the benefits for your hair are amazing and then to be honest the other reason i love them is they just look so nice i just think silk pillowcases it looks like i'm getting into a five star hotel bedroom every night it's amazing and literally who doesn't want that so i should also mention that these wash really nicely so these have come through the wash and there they are <sighs> So if you would also like to check out Lily Silk, I have a discount code for you guys. Type in Ellen20 at checkout. You'll get 20% off the entire site. So you can choose anything you like from on there and Ellen20 will get you 20% off. I'll also put the links to all of these bits in the description box. So you can click directly to them if you like anything in particular that I've shown you in this video. But once again, thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring this part of the video. This is truly gonna be the comfiest, coziest January I've ever had. Right, it is now time to make some lunch because I am super starving and I think I'm gonna have soup. We are on a crazy soup hype in this house at the moment. It's honestly unbelievable. So I think I'm going to leave the red jumper on <laughs> for the rest of the day because I don't want to put a cream jumper back on before I'm about to have red soup. But let's head downstairs and make some yummy lunch. <laughs> most delicious lazy lunch you can probably have. I've put a bit of like fresh thyme, pepper and like chili oil on the top of the soup. Cameron's come downstairs feeling very jealous so he's now actually put a pizza in the oven. <laughs> but I have got a toasted cheese sandwich to go dip into my tomato soup. So I'm gonna eat this. It's making me feel very excited and then we're finally going to tackle the pantry which this is the box full of all the stuff that we're gonna use to do the pantry so that is pending very very soon. But for now, time for some lunch. Perfect. Shall I start 
with the I'm gonna start with the spices. Yep. Should I pack these or should I just do them? Do you want to do spices as well? Or do you wanna Yeah I'll do spices with you? Should we do it together? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get all of these washed and then we're gonna get our spices in. How well we're doing well how well Cameron's doing talk me through it so back here we've got coconut milk yep we've got red kidney beans yep yep then these are gonna be our butter beans but I've just added to our shopping list another three to get that equal <laughs> nice and even because I saw you trying to put tuna in there now and then these are uh, chickpeas yeah yep. chickpeas chickpeas we're gonna have three and three and three and then these are this tomorrow's gets dedicated to rose because like we need all kinds of different shapes I don't and like these jar thing, these, these things. These boxes. Yeah, yeah well, they can come out. That must, well, we, can, we can leave them in there. No, no, they can come out. We should just cook some with them tonight. <laughs> That's tomato. And look, tell me about your spices. This is all going to be tomato in here. Uh, spices all there. Look at that. It's so neat. And then up here, so we've switched it around. So originally we were going to do spices on here, but now we're not. Now we're going to do these on here. So what have we got over here now? Uh, those are actually just an assortment of things. We need some more coffee, coffee, flour. Have these got like labels on? Yeah, but my love, I'm not, not, not going to know what they are. I know what they are. Well, is this, is this self-raising flour or is this normal flour? Like that's quite important to baking. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> is self-raising flour. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have some very questionable bakes lately, yeah, I think, yeah, guys. Awesome. Then we've got yeast, peppercorns. What else have we got back here? Coconut. Sh no, is that coconut? No, that's rice. Looking good. And then this step thing is like expandable. So once we've got the, might be able to fit like another row of a row on there basically, because we can expand that out once we've got the air fryer back in. We're doing well. Oh, what else have we got? Oh, we've got some. Sugar, this, these also don't have labels. Yeah, you need to write. My handwriting is terrible. Honestly, you're very bold though. My handwriting is terrible. I need you to write. <laughs> I know what's in there. I know what's in there. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming this is cast the sugar. This is who knows what. And then obviously pasta and rice, they barely need labels. But Can you bring me the spaghetti jar thank you? I am so grateful. Where's the spaghetti jar? Oh yeah. I'm so grateful that we did not do this task on the day of the Christmas party. Oh, you've done things up there? Okay, and then up here, we've swapped out all of our little tea jars to be in smaller ones so that more fit. Oh, so that more fit in here. We've got, this is our like loose leaf rooibos tea. And what have we got back here? Like loose leaf black tea. We need some more of that. And then Cameron loves his chamomile. So we've got some chamomile as well. And then up here, we've got what? Granola, oats, coconut, chia seeds, more oats, and our mixed nuts. Pretty good. Okay, I think we need to tidy up a little bit because it can't be like this forever. I think it's tidy up time. And then we can keep going, but I need to find a solution for all of these oils and things because I don't love those, but I probably just have to accept that that's part of normal life. And then I want to get all of like our breakfast stuff, like peanut butter and honey and marmite and stuff like that into this jar now that we can basically empty this off because all the spices were in there. So we should be able to empty that now. And yeah, going strong.
can't express how much I recommend doing this activity. It's literally so satisfying. I've also realized I have way more hangers than I thought. So I've got literally a whole chunk of hangers that I can use for other things. I keep saying to Cameron, I think we're out of hangers. I think we're out of hangers. We are not, we have so many hangers. I've split it up into like light blazers for the summer that don't go into like my coats cupboard. And then I've organized like all my shirts together. And then I've split out like more importantly, like all tops and then like all bottoms. I do have another section of the wardrobe that I haven't done yet. But even just doing this bit feels so good. I'm now like, I always think when you do a wardrobe clear out or you go through your wardrobe, you find things that you forgot that you had, which are really exciting. And you identify things that you go, actually that is just not what I want. And I've got a huge pile of clothes here that honestly I'm very much looking forward to donating and getting rid of and just clearing that stuff out of my space and making room for like newer, higher quality pieces that are more in line with, yeah, my vibe for 2024. So this is feeling so good. And now that we've done that, I am going to pour a glass of wine later. We were not supposed to be drinking in January. Well, that's not true. We weren't supposed to be drinking until we went away for Cameron's birthday, which we're going next week, which is terrifying. We're going so soon and I just haven't even remotely thought about it yet. But we're meant to not be drinking for the first 11 days of January. And <laughs> Cameron poured me a glass of wine today at like 4 p.m. earlier than that, 3.30 it was, I think, when he poured me a glass of wine when we were doing the spice jar stuff. I've left him down there to keep doing it whilst I come up here stairs and do this and just chill for a bit which i'm so enjoying this is like one of my favorite relaxed activities just doing something that's like a little bit productive but you do it at your own pace anyway it's about time that we got on to the good stuff so it's time to do my vision board well i've actually kind of already done it but to show you my vision board and to talk you through how i do it and any like tips or recommendations that i find have really worked for me to like really manifest what i put on there to actually come true and happen throughout the year. So, right, I'm gonna get onto the bed, get off the floor, get comfy and let's do it. I don't know why I feel nervous to show you what's on my vision board. I just, I am, so I'm probably procrastinating. But anyway, let's do it. We're all friends here, let's do it, let's have a look. Oh my gosh, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna make it through this whole thing without falling asleep. Sinking into these lily silk silk pillowcases. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> they're so, so nice. Why do I feel like just so luxurious? I need Cameron to put a TV up in this room so I can just like lounge with my gorgeous pillowcases. Oh, they're so silky soft. Okay, right. Glass of water. We've got our lovely candle lit. So we've set the vibes, which tip number one, when you're doing your vision board, set the vibe. So even if nothing on the vision board came through, the actual act of doing it is so nice. It's basically what I was saying about cleaning out the wardrobe. It's like some quality you time that is dedicated to just thinking about all the things that matter to you and that you want and that get you excited about life and make you feel inspired for the months ahead. And if you light a nice candle, you get yourself a nice drink. I've actually only got water up here because I was like, one glass of wine is enough. But get yourself your favorite drink, get yourself a glass of water, stick on a face mask, maybe do it after a lovely bath. I'm currently sticking on some, my lips have been so dry lately with this weather. I'm putting on the eight hour cream Elizabeth Arden lip balm stuff to try and rescue them because they're feeling sore. Right, ingredient number one that you need after your candle and your nice drink is your laptop. So let's do this. Ooh. Emails coming through, leave us alone. Oh dear, I can hear Cameron <laughs> crashing around in the kitchen. Whoopsie, I probably shouldn't have left him to do it all by himself. We'll go help him out in a bit. This is our, this is my girly time this evening. Right, okay, vision board. So just in case you don't know what a vision board is, and I'm probably not the official person to give the definition of what one is, but this is what a vision board is to me. A vision board is a like pictorial view or an image of what you want your year or a period of your life to look like and more importantly feel like. I think it's a really cool thing that we can all push ourselves to really picture ourselves doing the impossible and then all of a sudden it becomes possible but whenever I can truly picture myself doing something it comes true and to me easiest way to kind of stimulate that side of my brain to be able to picture myself doing cool things that I never would have thought of is through a vision board so 
It's a pictorial representation of your year or what you want your year to look like. You can make it in any way you like. You can do it the original way, which is you cut pictures out of magazines, you print out pictures on paper and you cut them up and you stick them onto a board that you actually have. Paper and glue and you create a collage. Honestly, I love that idea, but ink is expensive and I don't have enough colored ink to print out all the pictures I want to do. So I do it digitally. You can do it on anything you like, whether that's PowerPoint or Canva or slides. I do mine in Google Slides. I actually wish I'd done mine in Canva though. So if you've never done one and you're starting from scratch, I would recommend Canva because I love Canva. I think it's so easy to use. And I just find it easier to like crop pictures and doing things like that. Whereas I do mine in like Google Slides and I now do it switch to Canva because I like having all of my previous years all one after the other so I can kind of see them. So I feel like I'm kind of stuck on Google Slides until I really make the effort to like transfer everything across because some years I like to reuse a couple of the pictures that I felt were like super strong in making things happen for me. That probably all sounds a bit vague. Let me show you mine and I will talk you through it. Right, this vision board is our secret, our little secret, <laughs> okay? Don't show anyone, don't tell Cameron, this is our private vision board, just us. Right, let me show you where we're at and what we're thinking for 2024. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all of my previous years stocked in here and some of the pictures that I use are the same each year. And then this is my vision board for 2024. As you can see, I've got all different pictures. I just grab all of my pictures from Pinterest, but you can grab them from wherever you like. I just feel like Pinterest has like the most vibey pics and I feel like they're quite emotional images on Pinterest, which really give me the vibe that I'm looking for to really feel and imagine myself. So I split my vision board into a number of different sections. If we start in the top left, this is my like health and fitness section, I guess. So I've got a little quote on here, which, which really just resonated with me that says, the body achieves what the mind believes. And that is what I'm saying around, as soon as I like told myself that I could run, even if that was just to literally run a minute, as soon as I really believed I could do it, I could do it. And obviously there is some like cardiovascular elements to fitness but I've really seen in 2023 how much of it is mindset so this year I want to start running again and really push myself to increase the distances that I'm able to cover and the speed in which I run them because I think right now I run really slowly which I'm fine with but you know it's fun to set goals and push yourself so I want to increase my speed and increase my distances. I also have a picture here of a girl doing a pull-up because this year, by the end of 2024, I wanna be able to do three pull-ups or chin-ups, whichever it is, that shows you how little I know. I wanna do three chin-ups by 2024, by the end of 2024. And right now, my upper body strength is absolutely useless. So my goal is three by the end of the year. Let's see how we go. And then I've got some like vibes pictures here. So I wanna spend more time reading this year. I've got a stack of champagne here that's basically saying I want to spend a lot of this year celebrating I turn 30, which I am so excited about. And I just think it's a really big year for celebrations for me. I turn 30, Cameron turns 30. I've got a lot of friends that turn 30. And yeah, I'm just really pumped for the year. And I just want to have lots of champagne and lots of birthday cake this year. And then I've got a little section down here with Mind Your Business written on it, which is just basically my career section as it were. So I've got a picture of the 100K YouTube plaque. I've actually put that on every single year since I started my channel or actually even before I started my channel, I put one of these on at the bottom. <laughs> you can see like a little picture of a baby barley from many years ago. Um, but I've got a picture of the 100K plaque even before I started my YouTube channel because I was like, I just knew it was something that I wanted for my future. So I've put it on here again. It's becoming more of a reality, you know, guys. I think 2025 could be the year for the 100K plaque, but I always put that on there just as a vision for, or as a reminder of what we're working towards. And like, it would just be such a huge, huge milestone for me. So. I've got that on there, which is very exciting. This is where, depending on how seriously you take it, can be quite impactful. So what I have done on mine, let me zoom in so you can see this. Even though it's so tiny, when you first look at this, you can't really see it. I have put my own name over this picture so I can truly see that eventually I am going to get this presented to Ellen Miller, or really, I guess this should actually say Ellen Alice Miller, because that's the name of my channel, but presented to... Ellen Miller for passing 100,000 subscribers. Like I have written my own in name in there so that I can really see that happening for me. I have also done the same thing for Instagram. So this is a bit of a loftier goal for next year, I think. But this year, in 2024, I really want to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, which is quite a big jump from where I am now. And I've also 
updated my bio on Instagram because I really want to start posting more food content and more like outfit fashion content as well. That's like one of my really big goals. So I've updated my bio and I've put in here 10,000 followers so I can really like picture that being the reality at the end of the year. Okay, and then moving over a bit, we now move on to house stuff. So this year, I really want to start building our home to be much more rich in color and feeling like a deeper level of cozy. Right now, it still feels quite bare and there's definitely no color or even just like richness in our textures in the home yet. So I want to get some cozy lamps. We want to get a really big armchair for the reading nook and some colorful cushions and maybe even paint the wall something quite fun. But I still want it to feel really like light and whimsical and country and tiki vibes. That's just the that's the vibe that makes me feel really cozy and at home. And then down here, we've got the fireplace because I really, really, really want to replace our gas fire with a log burner before the end of the year. We'll see if financially that's feasible, but really I would absolutely love to be able to do that. Okay, and then a little bit further down here, we've got some more house stuff. I want to do a lot more gardening this year. It's gonna be our first ever spring summer, which is so exciting. So I want to be planting lots of florals this spring for them all to bloom during the summer. And I also wanna create a really nice alfresco dining space outside. We might not have space to have like a full dining table, but even if it's just like a couple of outdoor lounge chairs, that we could sit in front of maybe a fire pit and have a glass of wine in the evening near the river. I'm just so excited to be able to really create my dream outdoor garden, country, living space. And then we've got travel and I've got another little quote here that I really love, which is seek what sets your soul on fire. And for me, the stuff that really, really makes me feel so happy and so myself is cozy living at home and travel during the summer and especially Europe during the summer. So over here, Cameron and I are actually off to Italy this summer, which anyway, I'll talk way more about that soon, but we've booked a trip and we're starting off on the Amalfi Coast and it's to celebrate both of our 30th. So my 30th is in September, his is in January. And so we're kind of splitting the difference. And in June, we're going to head off to Italy. So basically this year, I want to eat a lot of pasta, <laughs> to be reading a book and living my best life on a sun lounger in Italy and just be sitting by the water and soaking up all of these vibes. And we're gonna rent a little car just like this one and drive it along the Amalfi Coast. And honestly, that has been one of my bucket list activities since, honestly, as long as I can remember, since I was a teenager, since I even knew what the Amalfi Coast was, that's been on my bucket list. And we're finally gonna do it this year, which is so incredible. And then <laughs> the last thing on my vision board for this year, which no one can show Cameron, okay? He stopped watching the vlogs, actually. He spends too much time with me now. He knows what's going on but I've also put a couple of engagement rings on here because I have to be honest with you guys, I'm manifesting getting engaged in 2024. I have no idea if that is a reality or not, but we'll see how it goes. I've put it on there, there we go. I've really embarrassed myself in front of you all. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, but you have to put on here what you actually want for the year. And I think that is the main thing. So this is my full picture of 2024. But yeah, just because I have shown you all and potentially embarrassed myself with all the goals that I've set and whether they're actually gonna come true, especially putting engagement rings on my vision board. It doesn't mean you have to show anyone. I have never shown anybody my vision board before, like not friends, not family, not boyfriends. I've always kept them really, really private in previous years. And I think that's absolutely fine to do that. I think they are something that is truly for you. And it's one of those things that potentially is really silly, but I love the process. I love the process of making it. I love the evenings when I set aside to do them. And I love how cool it feels when you get to look back over the year and you realize that you've made all these things happen. So yeah, if you are also a very visual person, because I think it's especially impactful for people that are quite visual. If you're also a very visual person, I can't recommend doing a vision board or creating a vision board enough for the upcoming year. It will get you so excited and like really picturing your future self and your future life with all your goals coming true. Right, I am now going to go back downstairs and continue. I can hear so much banging and crashing downstairs. I'm gonna go and continue to help Cameron finishing up the pantry. As you saw, it's not something that's gonna be done in one sitting. We're gonna to have to order some more jars and think through how we want the whole of it to go. But I think we've made some really good progress with it today. And the fact that I've managed to organize today a pantry and my wardrobe and to get my nails done and show you guys my vision board and finish it off 
is a very successful day, I think. But thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for all of your really, really lovely comments on my goal setting video last week. I'm honestly struggling to get back to you all now, which, which not that I'm complaining about having more of us in the community, but I really wish I could reply to every single one of you and I'm gonna keep trying to do so. But thank you so much for all of your lovely comments and thank you for watching today. Let me know if you tried doing a vision board and if you do, what you think of the process. And also let me know if you try any pieces from Lily Silk or if you've already tried them. Let everybody else know how much you love them in the comments as well. Don't forget Ellen 20 will get you 20% off the entire site. But have the loveliest week, everyone. And I truly cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.